हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू गेट शॉर्ट ट्रिक सीरीज टुडे इन नेटवर्क थियोरी वी आर बैक विद वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रिक दैट इज द ट्रिक टू फाइंड आरएमएस वैल्यू ऑफ एनी सिग्नल ओके दिस सिग्नल कैन बी अ वोल्टेज सिग्नल और इट कैन बी करंट सिग्नल ओके सो लेट्स जंप डायरेक्टली टू द सम एंड देयर ओनली वी विल सी द ट्रिक सो द फर्स्ट सम इज द आरएमएस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस पीरियोडिक वेवफॉर्म गिवन बिलो इन द फिगर इज एंड द क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ ईसी 2004 यू कैन सी द वेवफॉर्म इज given here which is a current waveform and we have to find the rms value of this signal so first take a look how i solve this sum and then i will show you the trick So the answer is root 24. If you split it, it will be 4 3 is a 12 into 2. So it is nothing but 2 root 6. Okay. So the answer is 2 root 6. That is A option. Interesting, right? So let's see the traditional way also, such that we will get a proper idea of the trick and traditional way. Okay. So the traditional way to solve this type of sum, we have to follow the RMS formula. Okay. And we know I RMS formula. It is under root. That is from name root. then we have to take mean that is 1 by t then we have to take square of it okay so we will take integration from 0 to t and the square of it that is i square of t dt okay so in the traditional way first you have to find the equation of all this waveform till t so you can see i have written it is equals to minus 12 by t to t this is nothing but y by x y is nothing but minus 6 and x is t by 2 so it will be minus 12 by t it is a slope multiply by x x is here t okay so minus 12 by t t small t plus y intercept y intercept here is 0 so it is nothing but 0 and for t by 2 to t it is simply 6 okay and you have to put all this equation into this formula and find out the integration you can imagine how much time you are going to waste for this integration okay so this traditional way usually takes around 2 plus minute but this trick will take less than 30 second okay so let's see this trick into detail so the trick is you have to use the relation between rms and power rms is nothing but under root of power okay you can relate with the formula of power and rms you can see i rms is nothing but under root of 1 by t 0 to t i square of t dt okay and for power it will be simply 1 by t 0 to t i square t dt okay so you can say that rms is nothing but under root of power and power we know that it is energy by time okay if you tend to forget this relation you can always use yeah. this thing that exercise is nothing but pt okay energy is nothing but power into time okay so always you can relate with exercise and pt such that you won't forget this relation anymore okay so you can see for rms we have to find out power and for power we have to find out energy okay so it means that if you know the energy of standard signal you are going to find the rms very easily okay so now let's see the energy of standard signal from which the signal is actually made okay so our signal can have a rectangular signal okay so let's say if we have a rectangular signal like this 0 to t and this is a tau let's say this is its amplitude so the energy of this rectangular wave will be energy is equals to a square into tau okay and note one thing tau is p minus z okay and for half triangle let's say it is somewhat like this it is 0 it is t or it can be like this Zero and t. This is its amplitude and it is its tau. This is its tau. Okay, and let's say this is a. Okay, so energy of this two signal will be a square into tau by three. Okay, so you can see the tau is between zero to t. Okay, and for full triangle it will be simply let's say this is your full triangle and this is your zero and this is your t. and let's say it is tau okay so for full triangle you can see the tau is from t to 0 and similarly for half triangle it is between t by 0 okay so everywhere you can see the tau is the difference between from maximum value to its minimum value okay and the formula for this also is same that is 
a square into tau by 3 okay for full triangle also and for half triangle also we have the formula the same but the only difference is you can see the tau for half triangle is this much but the tau for full triangle is this much okay so in the result you will get the difference between full triangle and half triangle okay so this was the energy of some standard signal from which our actual waveform is made apart from this we can have a signal mm -hmm. we will have a overlapping of this standard signal okay so let's say if we have a overlapping of two signal okay let's say if we have a triangle above and we have a rectangle at downside and triangle above so for this case where you can see the area is getting overlapped okay you can see here it was independent here it was independent there were no any other signal okay but here you can see we have rectangle as well as we have full triangle okay so for that time the total energy will become et is nothing but e1 let's say this is your signal 1 and this is your signal 2 it will be e1 plus e2 plus 2 into area of signal 1 multiply by signal 2 okay so what i'm saying is you have to multiply this two signal okay so let's say it is 1 and let's say it is 2 okay so you can see we have a triangular from 0 to 2 let's say this is 0 and this is 2 and we have a rectangle from 0 to 2 like way with the magnitude as 1 and for triangular also you can see 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 okay so if you multiply this signal you will get 1 into 1 okay so it will be nothing but a triangular itself okay so it will be like this 0 to 2 with the magnitude as 1 okay so basically you have to find out the area of this signal and then multiply by the 2 and simply you have to add this term with the energy of this 2 signal okay so for overlapping you just have to take care of area also okay so now let's see this trick into the action so here you can see this is our signal 1 and this is our signal 2 okay so so in this time period we have these two standard signal okay after this time period this signal is going to repeat okay as many as time okay and you can clearly see that between signal 1 and signal 2 we don't have any overlapping okay so here we don't need to take care of area okay we can simply add the energy of this two signal that is et will be e1 plus e2 okay if there would have been overlapping then it will be simply et is equals to e1 plus e2 plus 2 into area of 1 into 2 okay so now let's find out the energy of this signal so you can see this is a half triangle and we know the formula of half triangle that is a square tau into 3 and tau is for half triangle it is nothing but this one okay so tau will be nothing but t by 2 minus 0 okay so the tau will be nothing but t by 2 itself so here we will get tau as t by 2 and for amplitude you can see it is minus 6 ampere so it will be minus 6 ka square that is 36 and here in denominator we have 3 okay so 36 by 3 into t by 2 okay 2 ones uh, it will be 18 18 by 3 it will be nothing but 6 okay so the answer will be 60 and similarly for the energy of this signal you can see this is a rectangular waveform and we know the tau is simply this one so the tau will be t minus t by 2 so it will be t by 2 itself and amplitude is nothing but 6 ampere so amplitude ka square will be 36 so here we will get 36 multiplied by t by 2 it is nothing but 2 1s are 2 18s are so we will get 18 t now we can simply add both these energy signals so it will be et is equals to e1 plus a2 so here we get 18 t here we get 60 so it will be 24 t okay so this is energy and we know that power is nothing but energy by time okay so it will be 24 t by t so t t got cancelled and we are remaining with this 24 and we know that rms is nothing but under root of power signal power we have 24 so under root of 24 will be the answer but here we want in simplified under root form so you can see 24 we can simplify as 4 into 3 into 2 so 4 we can take outside so it will be 2 under root of 3 to the 6 okay so this will be the answer so you can see option a will be the correct okay so you can clearly see that by the trick you can solve this sum in 30 seconds but by the traditional way you have to waste your almost 2 plus minutes okay so now let's see some more sum so let's say this sum this is of ec 2014 a periodic waveform shown in the figure is a function of time the rms value of the waveform is okay so here also you are given with the periodic waveform and you have to find out the rms value of this okay so we are going to use the same trick that is rms is nothing but under root of power 
पावर इज सिंपली एनर्जी बाई टाइम ओके सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एनर्जी ऑफ वन टाइम पीरियड ओके सो यू कैन सी इन वन टाइम पीरियड वी हैव दिस सिग्नल we have this signal this signal is nothing but zero itself so energy of this signal will be zero so we have to get the power of the energy of this half wave triangle only so you can see for half triangle we know energy is nothing but a square tau by 3 so here you can see a square will be 1 ka square 1 multiply by tau is nothing but c by 2 minus 0 so it will be t by 2 itself by 3 so you will get t by 6 we know power is nothing but energy by time okay so we'll get t by 6 by t so it will be simply 1 by 6 and we know rms is nothing but under root of power so it will be under root of 1 by 6 okay calculate it and then get your answer okay so this under root of 1 by 6 is your answer so you can clearly see if you follow this trick you are going to solve this type of sum very easily within a 30 second okay so that's it for today thank you guys